What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Satisfactory. So, we just ended a mighty, wonderful stream. Thank you guys all for coming out and supporting the stream. It was a fantastically good time. Twitch.tv slash Z1 Gaming if you guys are curious or you missed it or you want to check it out. But let's go over briefly what we did and what we're going to get into, which is going to be the geothermal plants because I want to check them out. I want to build some. Hopefully you guys do too. But uh, let's do a quick wrap up of what happened with the stream. It was a pretty good time. So one of the many things that we actually got accomplished, which was quite amazing, is we actually started to get some production here at the Gigafactory. I know it's amazing. We started it. Now in here, you're probably going to see, oh my gosh, we have some plates. Holy moly. These things are backed up ready to rock and roll. We have got this whole area completely full of plates. So we have 12 machines making plates, which is fantastic. 12 machines require, if they're not overclocked, require 12 smelters, as long as they're not overclocked either. Now, uh, something else that's pretty amazing is, uh, well, we have lines, we have iron and stuff like that. And I was a little worried. I was a little worried about having enough iron to supply everything. Well, guess what, people? Mark three. Mark three miners are a bit ridiculous. And it's kind of amazing. So I'm going to show you this one. This guy, this is a Mark three miner. It is on a normal iron node. I have three slugs in here and it produces 600 per minute. 600. The current capacity of the highest belt we can get is 780 resources per minute. That guy about maxes out a belt by itself, which is amazing and fantastic for uh, for doing all this stuff because then we don't have to worry about getting as much stuff done. Now, I have this guy feeding. How many do I have you feeding? I think I have it feeding at half of these. So three, six, I think I have one, that guy feeding nine of these guys did not have an issue. But where things get really crazy is where you get a Mark III miner on a pure node. So let's go check out this one over here. Now, I did have to take some foundations out, so it's going to look kind of weird, but it is what it is, you know. Uh, but let's check out this guy. So this one is on, like I said, a pure iron node. You can see, boom, pure, fantastic. We have one, <laughs> one overclock, 720 per minute. That is the max that that belt can handle by, by far. If you go and put these in here, it gets up to 1200 per minute. 1200 per minute from one resource come on we need we need faster belts now we need faster belts now people because i can't even overclock it so it's max because it it's already loaded there's nothing else it can do like there's no way to get 1200 off of that now i had some people saying that oh you can put a splitter right on the end but the problem with the splitter is that it has to be you essentially attach a belt to it uh i think i don't know we might have to test it further but yes absolutely insane actually you know what let's do let's do a little hold on do i have the stuff to do this uh conveyor splitter i do let's do a little bit of testing let's see if we can actually do this because now i'm kind of curious i don't think you can i think if we take that off of there if we get a splitter conveyor splitter we can't we can't directly invalid placement see we can't directly place it right onto this guy i don't think let me let me try moving this uh, uh oh uh oh i need all of that uh i need i need all of that uh, we need a, I need a storage unit or something. All right, let's see if I can't put it like that. And let's see if we can't throw a logistics conveyor splitter right on the end of this guy. Nope. Invalid place we cannot afford. Okay. So that guy cannot be placed like that. Unfortunately, I wish it could. I wish you could just place a splitter right on the end. You'd have three outputs, uh, 1200. You'd be able to handle that. No problemo. But unfortunately, that is not the case. Not the case whatsoever. So let's go ahead and get this guy. Boom. Back onto there. Looks good. Feels good. And let's get this guy connected back up. Boom, good to go. All right, so that's all handy dandy. Let's go ahead and take this guy. Oh, I like that the feet level themselves out. That's quite fantastic. Uh, I don't really care about that Mercer sphere. Yes, I do. I do care a little bit. Uh, oh, I don't need iron ore. Let's go ahead and drag that into there. Resort that, grab that. Okay, cool. Looking good. So yes, that is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm super excited to play with that in the future, but we need, I mean, we're gonna have to get more stuff going anyways, but. That is not why you're here. You're here to see the geothermal stuff. And I hope you are because I want to build them. I want to make the geothermal plants. Now I want to make a couple of them. Uh, let's make, let's say for three, let's shoot for three. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to go drop off everything that I don't need. That's not required for that. And we're going to need stuff for power and probably some concrete for uh, foundation placement. All right. I think we are good. Uh, I don't know what I just, I don't know what I scanned for that time either. We're going to scan for a geyser. I know there's one over this direction and I think there might. Yeah, there's one over there. So kind of by the oil. I think there's one over by the bauxite too. So we're going to go check those out right now and hopefully get on over there. 
Now it's gonna be nice is if this is by the box site, we can connect right to the train station that's over there. So that's what I'm gonna hope for. Uh, if not, cause I'm gonna have to run out power lines and all that fun stuff anyways. But, um, oh, also another huge thing that we did, holy moly, we put in 13 more fuel generators. So we have a decent amount of power overhead right now. And the reason we did that and not, we didn't go with nuclear yet. And that's because I want to get the Giga factory up and running because we're going to be having some parts being manufactured sent over to the nuclear area. So I want to get the fact, the main factory actually set up and running before we go nuclear, just because I don't want to have to deal with uh, messing with it later. And we're going to have to do some redoing of the trains and things like that. But um, I, I highly recommend if you guys want to check that out and you want to interact live, twitch.tv slash doing gaming. I'm just, it's, it's a good place to hang out. It's a good time. It's good fun all the way around. Also, the Discord is always a good place to hang out and do the fun stuff. All right. So let's actually check this way because, I mean, the oil's right here. How far away are we now? Eh, it's still pretty far. I actually don't even see it at all. Okay, so about a thousand meters that way and then about 13 that way. Uh, let's go check out, let's go check out this one first. This one might actually be semi close to that oil. Oh, it might also be over by our secondary oil area. And then, I mean, it's also kind of on the way cause it's only 500 ish, 600 ish meters away from the other one too. So that, I mean, that's two or yeah, that'll be two of them. Now I don't know what they require. I don't know if you can just place them and forget them. I'm hoping you can. I'm hoping you don't have to do anything. That'd be great. So another thing to go with the, uh, the fuel generators is we did overclock all of these bad boys, uh, to three times the speed because we're gonna need, we we need a lot of uh, fuel and stuff like that, obviously. So we overclock these, we overclock the oil pumps. So this is actually supplying all of our fuel for the fuel generators, which is actually pretty good. All right, so about 600 meters that way. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna expand out our, uh, our little walkway area over here. And we could always just build up to it though. Mm, no, I think we're gonna go ahead and expand out and just go this way with it. All right, so it says it's 290. Oh, it must be right there. It's gotta be right down in there. It's gotta be right down there in that pool of water. It has to be. Uh, where are you? You're that guy, right? Is that you? Oh, there's two right here. Oh, all right, geothermal generator, boom. Now, what do you actually need? It looks like it has some kind of input. Does it need water? Uh, maybe not, actually. Hold on a second. Oh, what? Hold on, let's get up here. Early access warning, menu does not work as intended, does produce power, check power pole installed. Oh, okay. Hey, really? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come here, jerk. Come here. Thank you. I'll take that. Oh, it's a lizard doggo. Oh, that little lizard doggo. <laughs> Everybody gets excited with lizard doggo, okay? Everybody. Okay, here we are. Also, we did actually get, uh, do I even have any? We did get the rifle unlocked. I was playing with that. We also got the explosives and the novelisk unlocked as well. So pretty neato stuff there. And we do have another geyser right there. So let's just get that guy placed in right here. Shall we? Wait, where, where's, where's it at? Oh, it's, it's, I'm literally standing on top of it. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. All right. So let's get, um, so let's get some power poles. Uh oh, no, bad. 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 Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> All right, so let's get some power pulls placed in here. We'll place one there. We need to place one over here and we need to jump up to there and then run the power back. So not a huge deal. All right, now can I connect the cables from these? Cause that would be, no, I can't, darn it. Okay, let's get that connected to there. That one connected to there. Get this guy connected here. I wanna see what kind of power we're getting from just one of these though. So it looks like we're getting 200 Wow, 200 per geothermal, that's pretty good. So that means we're gonna get an additional 400. Holy moly, geothermal, some decent power here. All right, so let's get that guy hooked up as well. That's gonna give us what, 400? Holy moly, that is quite fantastic. But unfortunately, I don't think I have enough concrete to make it to the next one. Uh, let's scan again. Let's make sure there's not, I'm not missing another one right here. There should be one like over here-ish. Uh, yeah, about 700 that way and about a thousand that way. Okay, so we are fairly close. Wow, that's actually like kind of amazing. All right, so we got our additional 400 in power. Oh my gosh. So we were going from 57 to 61. <laughs> I love it. And that's completely free power. Guys, geothermal is the way of the future. Just kidding. Nuclear waste for sure. We got to destroy this planet one way or another. All right, so we got that. Um, I do not have, I have a lot of extra stuff. I do not unfortunately have enough concrete though. So I'm gonna have to go back and grab some more concrete uh, because we're gonna have to make it out to, I'd like to hit up, oh, do we have enough for, 
I would say we have enough for at least two or three three more oh no we only have enough for actually we only have enough for one more because i don't have enough rubber let's try to let's try to at least get one more for now all right so we took a small detour i wanted to see where that other geyser was over here because i thought there was one close by here maybe i was wrong there's over there no oh it's back that way oh wow it's like way back that way must be it must be right over there let's see if we can let's see if we can get to that one so i'm actually thinking the easiest way to probably get to that one is probably going to be to connect from that train station right there and come back if i don't then i'm gonna have to run power either all the way over the hill or we're gonna have to run power into something i mean we're gonna have to have power right here anyways for the nuclear stuff but i don't think i want to run power lines all the way back i would rather have the trains being conducting the power more than anything so let's go down that train station and let's build our way out this way i don't have enough concrete for that though i'm gonna have to go back and get more concrete wonderful now we're all the way over here and it's gonna be significantly further but we can attach power over this way a lot easier it should be what 500 600 that way uh four Ooh, that's actually much closer than i thought it would be okay let's get ourselves over there shall we it's actually a lot closer over here than i thought it would be it is where are you because it was like we were coming up super quick on it all right where are you right there nice very nice all right so let's actually go ahead and do some of these double ramps and just to get up there uh i want to go above i don't i don't like having to like build through the land everywhere Whoop! we're fine everything's fine now what are the odds that there's multiples in this one is it down here or is it up there oh it's up there okay so it's up one it's up like another cliff just a little higher oh i see it it's right there it's a little teeny tiny geyser guy you know what's actually funny is how tiny that thing oh oh hey now there's a couple of them here yeah there's two of them right here ha <laughs> ha winning okay i can only build one though darn it all right so let's get this guy right there and i'm out of rubber oh my gosh i just need the tiniest amount of rubber that's fine we get the power poles laid out and we can get things connected it'll be no problemo i want to catch this train we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. <laughs> That's so close to darn it. I wanted to catch the train back. That's fine. I'll finish my power poles. I saw it. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go for the. I'm gonna go for the train. Didn't work. All right. Let's just get that one right there. And I think we should be good to connect everything up. Should see another uh, 200. Absolutely. So we're at 63 is our capacity. We're currently operating about 32. We have about 3,000 uh megawatt hours overhead that is absolutely fantastic consumption oh i like it i like it indeed okay but we need a little bit more rubber darn all right i learned my lesson last time we turned autopilot off for now <laughs> i don't want to miss my train again i have to sit there for a while and wait so let's go get our second geothermal plant so i'm gonna guess that maybe each geothermal location actually has maybe two possibly three because if i'm not mistaken i do remember one of them had three and i think it was in the uh the the other starting area it was closer to that so i could be wrong but yeah this this is this is great power here like super easy you don't have to do anything with it there's nothing required as of right now i'm sure eventually they're probably going to make it complicated they're probably going to make it a requirement or something i'd like to see some solar arrays too i think that would be pretty neato but um i don't know anyways let's get over there let's build our uh, geothermal generator shall we all right one geothermal plant uh coming on up boom right there <coughs> no bad boom ow ow geothermal generator good to go look at that we have two of them so that means we have what in total we have 400 or we have four so that means we have 800 megawatt hours more power for doing nothing it didn't all i had to do was actually have the stuff to to craft them so not a bad deal not a bad deal i wonder how many there are on the map hmm i'm sure i could probably google it or you guys could leave a comment down below because that would be it. amazing but i wonder how much you could run off of just geothermal and not have to have anything else you know what if we don't even need nuclear power like what if we don't we're gonna build it of course because we have to build it but I mean, there's a good chance that we could get the Gigafactory up and running and we might not even need that much nuclear power. I mean, we would probably, you know, one would probably at least be good. Maybe two, maybe 16. I don't know. But let's get back on here. Let's head back to our base and uh, let's take a look at a couple of things real fast. You can kind of see my uh, my little twisty lines over there. Those are all for the future expansions of more raw resources that I'm not sure we're going to need. Uh, we probably could if we wanted to. 
both the minor mark threes like these resources become extremely potent extremely potent so we'd have to do some serious expansion if we wanted to like have to tap into all those but one thing i am realizing and it's kind of with it's mainly with uh not with this one so much i mean a little bit with this one is we actually really should have each cart be a different item and we're gonna have to redo the train stations and we're gonna have to redo that kind of stuff anyways so i've been kind of idealing trying to figure out what i want to do and i think we're gonna actually probably move this stuff this stuff will probably all be gone and we're probably gonna put two train stations right here long train stations worth like a lot of items and stuff so we'll probably leave that factory over there up and running and just have like all the items like come into here and then they can just supplement if we need them maybe i don't know but i know for a fact this one over here this is bringing in petroleum coke it's bringing in plastic rubber and circuit boards but the problem is that everything keeps getting backed up because one of the things keeps getting blocked so to mitigate that we're gonna have each station be its own thing that way it's like okay cool it's backed up on petroleum coke we don't need anymore right now that's fine just let it sit there it's fine but it's stopping the delivery of other resources as well so we definitely need to do that but i don't really want to mess with that until i get it figured out what we're going to actually be doing with the train stations because like i said i think they're going to come in here and we're going to have multiple uh multiple deals per multiple cargo loading areas per thing like this guy is completely full and we have more bauxite than we even know what to do with because we're making so much of the aluminum alclad sheets or whatever like uh let's see i think we have just this one right so now our bottleneck is actually the copper ingots so now i need to be bringing copper over here and all that fun stuff so this will all probably get rebuilt as well at some point but uh i mean we just have so like we have so much aluminum that i just i, I really need another uh i need another one of these guys but I need more, obviously, I need, <laughs> I need, I need more, uh, more copper being brought in here. Uh, you know what? Actually, do I have the stuff for, I might have the nut. Do I have the things required for another Mark III? I don't. I left them in there. Okay. I'm actually only missing the three, huh? No, we're not going to build it up because I'm about to have to take all this stuff down and move it over there anyways. So we're not going to do that. Yes, that's going to end this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did. Don't forget to leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. You can bet we'll be back. We'll play some more. Um, I would like to get this train station kind of set up a little bit to kind of help the uh, the offshore stuff. But the Gigafactory is underway. It has begun. The next few things we're going to work on is probably in here. And this is going to be our uh, screws making area. So we already did the calculations. I only need six smelters making iron in order to have all of these running at uh, maximum efficiency or just max power without overclocking. Without overclocking is the key there, but uh, they're pretty much ready to go. I just got to hook them up and get them ready. So we'll probably do that. We might even do that next episode or we might do it on stream twitch.tv slash if you guys want to check it out. That and then, yeah, more factory building, more stuff like that. And I think we're actually going to have to probably bring in some more smelters too because we just have a lot of stuff to smelt and we have all the iron to do so and as you can see like i mean all that's backed up that's because i mean we filled up these gigantic storages in like oh gosh it didn't take very long at all yeah these are guys these guys are ready to go they're ready to ship up to the next stairs next floor and all that's fun stuff so like i said future expansions we'll put this floor in we'll bring assemblers up there start making the next batch of items whatever it may be and just kind of go from there. Copper's going to be on that side. Steel, we're probably going to make in the middle. And I don't know where we're going to have the steel production at, but we're going to need a lot of steel. Definitely need lots of steel for lots of steel things. The manufacturer's in the middle. But um, yes, thank you guys for coming out. You have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next one.